A Kirklees council member has revealed that West Yorkshire police are turning recruits down because they're either not women or not ethnic minorities. Not exactly the kind of plan you would expect from police forces claiming to not have enough police. I mean, it's like me only hiring fit women who can fit under my desk and turning down munters or men. That, by the way, is called discrimination. Councillor Mark Thompson has spoken out following a report that a white man who applied for a job at West, uh, West Midlands Police was unable to have his application progress as he didn't belong to a minority group. The prospective recruit was told that the application would be held until police officer recruitment is open for everyone. Now, let's be honest, you have to be completely mad to want to join a failing organisation such as the police right now, at least. So they probably did the guy a favour, but it is still discrimination. Councillor Thompson read out an email that was received by the applicant at the council's last full council meeting where West Yorkshire Mayor Tracy Brabin heard the concerns. The email said, West Yorkshire Police is currently underrepresented by women and people from ethnic minority backgrounds. In accordance with the Equality Act 2010, we offer those from underrepresented groups the opportunity to apply at any time. Now, I might be wrong, but the Equalities Act 2010 doesn't, as far as I know, state that to not fall foul of the Equalities Act, you must discriminate against white people and not against black people. In fact, under Section 39 of that Act, Employees and Applicants, it states that 1. An employer, A, must not discriminate against a person, B, A, in the arrangements, A, makes for deciding to whom to offer employment, B, as to the terms on which A offers B employment, and C, by not offering B employment. Which means that the police's positive discrimination, which is still discrimination no matter what spin you put on it, is in fact breaking the law. But guess what? It's been going on for ages now. An employer must not discriminate against a person when deciding to whom to offer employment. An employer must not discriminate against a person by not offering employment, which is 100% exactly what they are doing. But you know, it means that blacks, Asians, women and trans are treated more fairly than others. There is even a section within the Act relating to police officers, that's section 42, and again I can't find anything in that section that relates to allowing police to discriminate against white males in favour of women and ethnic minorities. I mean it almost feels like blacks and other ethnic groups, women and trans folk, will soon be shanghaied or conscripted into the police whether they want to join or not. I mean it's utterly pathetic. Councillor Thompson asked West Yorkshire Mayor Tracy Brabin if she felt that the process of obtaining a degree to enter the force was slowing down the recruitment of new police officers and whether the email was to do with the racism that's involved in recruiting new officers at this moment in time. In response, Mayor Brabin defended the police's recruitment process, saying, I'm hugely proud that the West Yorkshire Police has again, by appeal standards, been designated as outstanding. Yeah, but let's face it, all standards have been dropped over the years, so being classed as outstanding on subpar standards isn't exactly an accolade to be proud of, is it? Added, when I became the Mayor of West Yorkshire, I committed 100% to get our West Yorkshire Police to reflect the communities we serve, and Alison Lowe has been an exceptional Deputy Mayor leading the way, and as a woman of colour, not sure why that matters, she understands more than most what we have to build trust if we are to police by consent. That trust is built by representation. No, no, no. That trust is built by the police doing their damn job and treating everyone with a modicum of respect. It's got nothing to do with colour of skin. It's got nothing to do whether you have an innie or an outie. I'm not talking about belly buttons, by the way. It is entirely down to the standard of man or woman hired to do the job and has nothing to do with their skin, their eye colour, whether they have a full head of hair or a bald, nothing at all to do with any of that. If you want trust, I've said it before and I'll say it again, then you need to forget the fact that people have different skin colours when it comes to hiring people. Concentrate on hiring people who can do the fucking job and do the job properly without lowering the entry bar in terms of physical or mental ability. The fact that the mayor is blatantly backing discrimination from West Yorkshire Police 
shows to me and should show to you exactly the kind of organizations that we are dealing with. Because if it was you or me and we were hiring for our organizations, we would be in front of a tribunal.